afternoon here in the LC, and I'm at the seawall, as you probably figured out. My name's Paul Pettifer. I'm uh, just an ordinary guy who's encountered an unbelievable God, and, um, and I just want my life to live in response to what He's done and who He's like. And, uh, so my story actually began uh, with Jesus began right here, about uh, 300 yards that way. The Civic Center Coliseum. Uh, a guy spent two months befriending me uh, at college. I was at McNeese, and uh, this guy uh, befriended me. I walked in with an Astros T-shirt, so we struck up a conversation about the Astros. And then uh, he spent the next couple of months just hanging out with me and taking me with him where he was going and listening to my story. And then he invited me to a, a gathering that was happening here. And this gentleman struck up. Uh, teaching about the Bible, Luke 19, and, and that night I, I realized I was missing something incredible in my life, and I encountered Jesus and felt freedom happen for the first time in my life. And so it's kind of fun. I like coming back here. It just reminds me of section 222, or 223 I think it is, where I was sitting uh, when I heard the gospel about good Jesus for the first time. So I like coming back here. We just built this new seawall. It's a, it's a lazy Tuesday afternoon, 1st of March. It's just simply perfect weather. There's people running and jogging and lots of seagulls. And uh, I'm thinking about the gospel, what it's like to live my whole life in response to what God has done. And to see every event in my life through the lens of a cross that carried the blood of a perfect Savior that, uh, that got broke down and shed for me empty tomb where Jesus came out of the ground. He didn't stay dead. I like that about his story. He didn't stay dead. And I get to partake in that today. And I, it's hard to do. The last two days have been a struggle for me. Uh, just to live in light of the gospel. And my, my flesh is just weak. You know, I feel discouraged sometimes when the idols that I put in front of Jesus in my life for me is probably mostly my performance as a minister, right? Is my church big enough or going fast enough? Is my leadership uh, doing well enough so that I'll feel good about myself? And um, I know that God's at work and He uses crazy people, simple people, regular people like you and me to do His incredible work. And sometimes our lives here on this earth, right? Because there's just the earth was made for good. It was made to be good. God created Adam and Eve, and he said it was good, and they gave him this perfect garden, and they were there, and in the middle of that, this opportunity came for them to be tempted, right, where the adversary came and said, you know, God's holding out on you. There's something better than what he's got going on. And you should check it out. They, uh, they believed him and took that. God had, don't eat of that tree because you're going to know evil if you eat of that tree and I only want you to know good. And they bit it and something happened. And, uh, they died on the inside. So man, I'm going to walk over this camera and pan it around. And what you'll see on the other side is what life looks like when we don't believe God and something devastating happens. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it more clearly. That is uh, Shiver Me Timbers Park, the Millennium Park. My kids call it Big Park. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, some people burnt it to the ground. Um, they arrested a couple guys. And actually, in a couple hours, there's something a meeting going on about that. I'm going to tell you about that in a second. But that scorched earth is what it looks like when I don't trust God. I think He's holding out of my life. And my life just looks like a wreck. And that's what's happened in my heart. Um, and then God does something fantastic, right? I told you, I'll zoom over here a little bit. My, You can't quite see it from this position. But there's the Civic Center Coliseum. You can see it through the lattice of this cool place. And um, God meets, meets us. That's what He wants to do. He wants our lives to be different, Lord. Not to be trapped uh, in the brokenness of a burnt down soul 
tricked by a liar and ruined forever. He wants something fantastic, something resurrection coming up. So Jesus, he, he, um, he did this. He went to a cross and he paid for the sin of the whole world. And he came out of the ground so we could have life. <clears throat> and so tonight, uh, in about an hour and a half, two hours, we're going to be meeting in that same Civic Center. And it's a group of people talking about rebuilding that park, rebuilding Shiver Me Timbers Park. And uh, we're going to be a part of that in some way. I've got my, my screwdriver and steel saw ready to be in the mix on that. And I think that's emblematic of what God wants to do in your life today. He wants to take the wreckage of your life, turn it into something beautiful, and rebuild it. That's the story of Jesus. That he meets people right where you are. Whatever is going on in your life, whatever kind of brokenness, difficulty, whatever sort of mistakes you're making right now. You might be watching this in the middle of a mistake, of something self-destructive or a lie. Thank you. 